it's Rita so I'm back and my domain has officially come up so if you saw my last video on installing WordPress you'll see that sometimes when you do an installation of WordPress it does take a few minutes to um, all come together to load and to be ready for you to um, edit it so I would say it probably took about five to ten minutes for it to fully um, be propagated and ready to go so right now I am on my optimization school.com and let me see the address that I that you see over here is WP admin so if I put that in right here then what it does is it just goes to this other like redirect WP login which is perfectly fine and um, I'm just going to put in my password information if I can ever get it together and then I'm going to show you what it looks like after you log in and if we just go here my blog because um, remember I didn't update that information so if we go to settings in general you'll see this was the information that was in that area on the hosting where you can go in and at so let's see um, school for all things technical and I will update this because you know obviously your tagline is um, important and this is a little bit about you know for SEO purposes as well so um, you can just update that there and then remember I showed you my email address and this is the same email address that I used inside of the hosting Green Geeks to set this up so everything else is fine for now and we're just gonna save changes and I'm going to open this up and let you see what it looks like in another window. So this is the standard WordPress installation with um, the basic theme that it comes with. So if we go back down here um, into the dashboard, and all I did was switch, um, switch windows, which you can't see. But if you are in the same window you would just hover over this area and click dashboard and it will take you right back into the dashboard area so we are going to go dashboard appearance themes and one thing that I like to do and I recommend that you do as well is to remove all themes that you are not using and again, this is from my WordPress security um, video slash blog. And basically what happens is, is you insert this or you add a new theme to your website and then you have these themes that you're not using and then you get a notification that they need updated and you think no big deal, I don't really need to update them because I'm not using them and because these themes are always installed onto every WordPress site, it's probably a good idea to take them off because you're just opening yourself up for a security breach. So now we're down to one theme in here. And what we're gonna do is I'll go ahead and um, upload the DB theme because it is the most popular one that I use and um, Let's see, I'm going to just grab the file for DV. And so if you go to elegantthemes.com and you purchase your license for DV, it's approximately 87, I believe, $87 per year then um, you will be able to download the DV theme and the other themes that Elegant Themes makes. Um, DV theme is by far one of the most popular ones because it has a drop and drag builder and a lot of new um, WordPress users find it much easier to use than something like the thesis theme which is what I learned on and thesis theme is a really 
great theme, except you have to know how to code. So if you don't know how to code, then I recommend you use the DB theme. And so that's why I'm using this today and I'm gonna install it and show you how to use it. So I obviously went to Elegant Themes, downloaded the DB theme, and then when I was adding my new theme, I went browsed it, found it, and now I'm installing it and it's taking a few minutes to, um, to load. And while we're um, waiting for it to load, let me go ahead and tell you that when you use something like DV, you want to make sure that you add a child theme on it as well. So I'm going to activate DV and then I'm going to go back and upload DV child because I need a child theme. Because anytime that I make any changes, then I need it to be on the child theme and not on the main DV theme. And the reason for that is um, DV is constantly updating and upgrading the theme. And so any changes that I make on this one would not um, be affected when this one updates. So the last thing that you want is to make all of your updates on here and then they make some upgrades to, you know, the core um, files of the of the theme and then all of your stuff is lost. That means all of your customizations, all the colors that you put in, everything that you did is completely lost and it's like you have to rebuild your whole website again. So I don't want you to have to deal with that. So what you want to do is go and get a child theme. There are some places that have really nice child themes where the layout is already ready for you. All you need to do is just replace the um, images and add your own content and you're done. Um, one that I recommend is from my friend Carrie Green. She um, designs child themes for elegantchildthemes.com. So, um, or you can just get something like this one, which is uh, bare bones, and it's essentially the same as this, but all of your changes will be saved on here. So now you have the new uh, DV theme, and if I just update this, we'll see how it looks a little bit different. And this is what the DV theme starts out looking like, and then you can change it and make it look however you want. Uh, for instance, my main website uses the DV theme, and as you can see, it doesn't look anything like that website. Um, it doesn't look anything like this because the possibilities are pretty endless. So yeah, this is my, my website. It was built on DV as well. So um, there you have it. If you have any questions on how to install your theme, then let me know and I will be back with one more video and I'm gonna show you how to update the, um, your main theme and probably just a few little pointers real fast and but I just want to make it into another video so that it's not so long for you guys to listen to. So um, comments or questions below let me know and if you need help with something like this you will see in my shop I do offer services to um, those who just don't want to fool around with this stuff. So again look forward to talking to you soon.